let's just uh, settle into a nice, comfortable seated position because what's going to be happening is before the election, we'll be doing this, and then after the election, we'll be doing this. So it'll we're just going to keep going on regardless of what else is happening. So this just gi- it gives us a little bit of stability. So I think, you know, things like uh, moving general ele- elections and, you know, th- this one appears that, you know, from what I'm hearing and reading, you know, the, the whole idea of democracy is a little bit under threat, which is what something I never thought could happen, never even considered it. But, you know, the idea that gets floated around when you hear those words, it, it creates a normal, it kind of creates anxiety and a sense of instability. So, you know, doing these practices, just bringing ourselves back to earth, grounding ourselves, because we never know what the outcome is going to be, feet flat on the floor, and just try and feel the earth beneath your feet. I think that might have been a song even, it's a bit of a cliche, but anyway, and and feel, you know, the toe pads, the heels, the big ball mound, the little ball mound, the outside of the soles of the feet. And just bring your attention to your feet. So in these coming days, if you're seeing you're gonna hear you're gonna hear a, you know analysis and debate and this and that and lots of people having opinions, and it might, you know, your mind might just sort of just kind of flip off here and there. Just keep your Attention on your breath and the soles of the feet. And just ground yourselves. The knees are about hips width apart, shoulders are aligned with the hips. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light and it stretches from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. So you're putting some space in between the vertebrae, you're lengthening your spine. And so this is what is important right now, is what, in this particular moment, what we're doing. It's good to keep our mind on that because, you know, we could die tonight, could die in the next five minutes. You never know what's going to happen. So we don't want to be keeping our mind in the future. Just keep trying, remain in the present Notice the sensation of the air as you inhale and exhale. And bring your attention to the crown of the head. And just notice if you feel any sensation there. Or not. And then just relax your scalp. And the forehead, the eyes, <clears throat> the nose, the cheeks, and the mouth, the jaw, the back of the tongue, and the back of the head, and the neck. And, you know, I forgot the ears and the inner ear. Relax the, the shoulders, allow your shoulder blades to drop down. Relax the throat and the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. And breathe. And then be aware of the sounds in your environment, whether it be a vehicle or a person or a pet or a bird. Here in the forest, the birds are settling down. So there's just one kind of bird, usually the first one in the morning, so it seems to be the last one at night as well. And then be aware of what's arising in the mind. Try and put some space in between the thoughts. And allow them to be there, allow them to arise and to abide. And then just by not engaging with them, by not following the thoughts, uh, they will just kind of just dissipate 
because they've got a ton of thoughts coming up behind them. So it's almost like we just take a little step back and observe. <clears throat> so we could be, you know, really objective. It's like almost like we're watching somebody else's mind. But compassionately, kindly, so don't criticize your thoughts or what's going on in your mind. And then, you know, think of our loved ones. You can bring their face to your mind. See them there, look at their eyes. These are people you have you know, beautiful connections with. And then there's our you know, people we don't like so much. And then there's our strangers. And remember, they can all change place at any time. This friend, this one we don't like, this stranger. <clears throat> They're all equal, though, and they wish to be happy. They wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So we think that there will do this practice this evening for all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings and let's just think for the United States of America as well for all the people in this country and for everyone all over the world because I think what happens here in the US impacts greatly every other living being on the planet and then you know think we do this practice this evening also for His Holiness who's I'm not sure where he's at in terms of the the um, operation, but likely recovery. So then think there is no negativity that can't be purified, and this purification process is basically a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind, so equally we can create positivity instead. So we'll sincerely regret from the depths of our heart anything we've done to harm any living being on this day, in this life, in all our past lives. And I think, you know, here it's worthwhile to consider anything you've done to harm yourself as well. So think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. And we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions, and having harmed others, we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. We cannot bear the thought of the future suffering that we ourselves will experience. And we know from our present suffering we don't want any more. So logically it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for, for us. So think like this. <clears throat> I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. And also regret any anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others, and then think again, I'm sick of this suffering, and then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. And it's uh, reliance kind of like we take refuge to start with. So we, you know, we take refuge in. It's almost like we take refuge un in the shade of a tree when it's hot. You see all those photos of the sheep underneath one, lots of sheep underneath one tree. They're taking refuge under the tree. So we take refuge in these, these, these methods of Buddha Vajrasattva because these methods are what we can use to heal ourselves and purify ourselves. So we're not needing Buddha Vajrasattva to forgive us. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. You can also imagine this is your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of this radiant, blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. He has a beautiful, radiant face. His eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom, and the right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion, and their being crossed represents the union of these two, and this symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. 
So in order to develop compassion, and this is little section underneath reliance, uh, under the section of reliance, because we're relying upon other beings um, in order to develop a practice of compassion. So first of all, we think of people we have harmed in the past, maybe even the beings we don't remember harming. or You know, maybe we harmed some, we had no idea that we'd done it. And then there's those who have harmed us, and quite likely because of the harm they've caused us, <clears throat> they're going to suffer in the future. So think like this. We make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these beings and think I must purify for their sake. <clears throat> then we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the medicine, doing the practice of purification, and we start with the body, and Bhadrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart, and it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely, and it keeps pouring into you, and it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid, and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. Om Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sutukaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mempiyatsa Sawa Kamasita Me Sutam Shriam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe Om Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Meboa Sutukaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya satra ah hum pe, and bhadrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, dita me boa, situkaya me boa, supokaya me boa, anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe And Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sitokaya Me Boa Supokaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe and Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Me Boa Sutukaya Me Boa Supokaya Me Boa Anarakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Guru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra Ahom Pe And Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Me Boa Sutukaya Me Boa Supokaya Me Boa Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya satra ahom pe, ambhadrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, dina me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So then be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any being with your body, including yourself, is completely purified. And think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. <clears throat> Next is the purification of our speech. And Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and this arcs around and quite forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech. And this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs getting other people to agree with you. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Om Bhadrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Me Boa Sutukaya Me Boa Sipokaya Me Boa 
and erecta me boa sour seed me piazza sour kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago and sour tata gata vajra me mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe and vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita dida me boa sita kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa an erecta me boa sour seed me piazza sour kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago and sour tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe and vajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita dida me boa sita kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa an erecta me boa sour seed me piazza sour kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita dina me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. An erecta me boa sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. And Bajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Bajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa An Erecta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe And Bajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Bajra Safa Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa an erecta me boa sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita dida me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. An erecta me boa sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an Sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya satra a hum pe. So imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech is gone. The harmful speech, the inappropriate speech, all of this completely purified. And imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. So a whole bunch of different stuff will come out, a whole different tone of voice. And also, it'll benefit you too, because you'll hear it as well. So next is the purification of our mind. And Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra. And this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire body, your entire being. <clears throat> so you walk into a room you that's black, it's pitch black, and you flick on that switch. And the light in the room uh, instantly dispels the darkness. So imagine just as the, the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, all the your attachment and neediness and anger and depression, bitterness, grudges, resentment, jealousy, all of this is instantly dispelled, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Um, Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa An Erecta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe An Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dida Me Boa Sito Kaya Me Boa Sipo Kaya Me Boa an erecta me boa sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra safa samaya manupalaya bhajra safa dina patita dira me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. An erecta me boa sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an. Sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An bhajra safa samaya manupalaya bhajra safa dina patita. Dida me boa sito kaya me boa sipo kaya me boa. An erecta me boa sawa siddhi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an. Sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. 
Am Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Triam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata Ahom Pe Am Vajrasafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasafa Dina Patita Dira meboa, sutukaya meboa, sipokaya meboa, anorecta meboa, sawa sidi mimpi yato sawa kama sita me, sitam jiam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, ambadra safa samaya manupalaya vajra safa dina patita, dira meboa, sutukaya meboa, sipokaya meboa, Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatta sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya satva a hum pe. So again, be delighted. All your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are completely purified. And think that there's no space in your heart now for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. And next is the purification of the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. And uh, imagine Vajrasattva sends light and nectar, fills you completely, and eradicates even those very, very subtle imprints of negative energy. Am Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sutukaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatta sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita, dira me boa, situkaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita, dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita, dira me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatta sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita, dira me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi mimpi yatta sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita. Dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa. Anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. Am vajrasafa samaya manupalaya vajrasafa dina patita. Dira me boa, sutokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Now feel you're completely purified, there's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream, even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment has been removed. And now we come to the power of resolve, and this is the fourth and final step in the purification process, and it's a really crucial step. And this is this decision, this determination we make to not harm with our body and our speech and our mind. So without making a, some kind of decision or some kind of determination or even having a, a, a slight wish or an aspiration, nothing's going to happen. So that's really the first step is to... Well, and I guess I'm speaking to the choir here because this is why most of you are here. If not all of you, you wouldn't bother to come if you didn't want to make a change. 
So just also rejoice in that. And then think of something you'd like to work on. And particularly, I think, for people who are working in, in uh, large groups of people, you know, like in communities or, you know, you have a workplace that you go to. This is like usually the seat of gossip. So maybe think about your speech. Could be something, you know, just be aware for five minutes a day of just watching your speech, watching what comes out of the mouth. And then rejoice in your efforts and imagine Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wants to merge with your mind and melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my teacher's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same. So uh, next, uh, Rinpoche would recommend to meditate on emptiness. So in emptiness there is no I, the creator of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you do understand emptiness or you know about it, you've read about it, you've heard about it, just place your mind there for a moment. We can think of all phenomena as being empty. They they just don't didn't appear of their own accord. They, they're dependent arisings. And think that the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created doing this practice to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. So let's do our verses <clears throat> for the chanting the names of Manjushri. The teacher teaching mundane and good knowledge the teacher to all beings most confident, the world's most trusted guide, protector, saviour, the refuge unsurpassed, the guardian, with rich enjoyments filling all of space, the knowledge ocean of omniscient beings, while smashing through the shell of ignorance and breaking through the cage of cyclic life, through the thorough queller of intense affliction, arriving at samsara's opposite shore, his crown, the crown of wisdom and conse with, of wisdom consecration, his ornaments comprising perfect Buddhas. Okay, so let's just dedicate for the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, particularly a swift recovery from his operation. He's now eighty nine, or coming up eighty nine. So that's quite a big deal for someone of that age. And also, I was just thinking as we were doing that practice, I'm wondering if it's very curious that the timing of this debate and His Holiness's appearance in New York. So maybe there's some something very auspicious about that. And then we, you know, also dedicate, I think, before I go on, for the outcome of, you know, what's going to be happening over the next few months to be for the benefit of all, everybody, so everybody can thrive, everyone can benefit, that there will be peace and harmony. And then there's the swift return of his whole of Lamas of Parimpache. And then, you know, pray for the long lives of your own precious teachers. Okay, everyone. Lots of love. So I thought tomorrow morning maybe we do Medicine Buddha for His Holiness. Because I think it was uh, Nichan, Nichan Rinpoche's recommended reciting the Medicine Buddha mantra for His Holiness. So. Let's do that tomorrow morning if you're okay with that. And then for those of you who who don't come in the morning, um, we're doing a mindfulness meditation. I'll be doing that tomorrow evening before uh, Vajrasattva. So if you want to come along to that, you're very welcome. Okay. All right, everybody. Lots of love. Good night. Thank you for hosting, people, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Thanks, everyone. Sweet dreams. Watch some comedy. <laughs> Thank you, Venerable. <laughs>